As I mentioned, wow, I actually did not expect me to predict that, but... Yeah, so, uh, I believe Ice Knight is going to be the neutral Greninja, and then Starman is the purple one. Uh, and starting off right from the get-go, uh, a lot of damage coming out from this Pikmin lineup of electric and, uh, electric and water. Yellow and blue. Yeah, already throwing that blue Pikmin on uh, Ice Knight, applying some pressure, but it seems like he really, um, got it off of him. Yeah, I, I think he wanted, like, a little bit of pressure there from the Blue Pikmin and seeing what Ice Knight's response was. And trying to, like, maybe maybe a little bit of a knowledge check there. Oh, yeah, definitely. I honestly thought he would not, uh, Starman would not be able to recover from that, but how actually taking uh, Ice Knight's first dog. Yeah, straight back out there from Raven King going to be doing that. And I love the coverage there from Ice Knight, getting every single recovery route by Olimar taken. Oh! I think I see. Uh, I think I see maybe what Ice Knight's uh, going for with the with the Pikmin and why Cyber was so quick to throw it off of him. Because Ice Knight tried to counter the Pikmin when it hit him. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Raven King is doing such a great job at anchoring right now. Uh, Cyber's first dog is gone, but again, Raven King was probably again just wanting to apply more pressure and trying to help out Cyber with his Ike. I like the attempt there from uh, Starman trying to get the side V off of the uh, off the jabs coming out from Ice Knight. But Shadow Snake not connecting there, but does find that kill with the back air. And now Starman is the one yeah. with, the, with the stock tanking capability right here. Yeah, he's definitely trying to keep um, Raven King off stage here. Applying some, some great pressure, but he's at 128, so he's definitely got to be careful to that Ike up air or what, Not in that order. Wow. wow. Well, this is an Ike with very minimal rage, so that may have been a, a factor there. I know Ike Forder is not... Um, not typically one of the moves that gets a ton of kills, but that Olimar forward smash is, and that's gonna be taking his stock right there. Yeah. So it looks like uh, the Frog team here has been splitting apart the red team, making it, making it a little difficult for Raven King to help out Cyber and try to approach, but Cyber just travels the other side. What a, what an <laughs> incredible recovery Olimar Outplayed. has. <laughs> Great forward there, but uh, not quite enough. We do see. Um, Everybody's got a ton of percent on them right now, except for um, uh, Starman. Starman. But as yeah. I'm saying that, he's taking a ton from this Ike onslaught. Well, I'm actually surprised Raven King recovered from that because he seemed like he was a little stuck under the uh, the stage and actually just kind of just appeared on the ledge and he's somehow still alive with that Ubi taking and Ice Knight stock. That was Ice Knight stock at zero percent, so he had just lost a stock to uh, Olimar up air, and Ice Knight. Now has to share that last um, Starman stock, and if you're Ice Knight, you cannot be happy about how that ended up. And now we're at last stock situation, everybody at zero, except a little bit of damage on Raven King and Starman here. Yeah, this is uh, pretty even, pretty pretty neutral, and uh, Cyber's just trying to get back onto the stage safely, but again, Ice Knight applying some great pressure here, and especially with uh, Starman trying to find his way in on Raven King. Yeah, there's the counter on the Pikmin that I mentioned earlier, but not not enough coming out from that, and did get Raven King kind of stage uh, positioning that he wanted. So, not the greatest um, option if you're uh, if you're Starman there. But I mean, you lived, so how right. how mad can you be? Right. Yeah, Ice Knight is uh, using the platforms very well, and, and they're, I'm pretty sure Greninjas would try to look for an up smash here to poke through the platforms. But even then, they're trying to play as safe as possible and maybe stay grounded. And I like what Ice Knight and Starman are doing when uh, they're forcing an opponent into disadvantage, because one of them will cover like anything air dodge, and the other one will cover anything jump. Oh yeah, definitely. It sh shows like the the trust that they have in each other. Especially and with their like, character. yeah, playing the same character as well. I'm pretty sure they benefit that uh, incredibly. But um, unfortunately, Starman's last stock is gone. So again, this could still uh, bring back by Ice Knight. I mean, again, considering that Raven King and Cyber at good percents and. Raven King doing the team kill. So we got a 1v1 situation. Raven King's got to be very careful. Unless the upper takes it. Ike up air, dude. That's the story of our commentary block is Ike up air. Ike up air is going to be the death of us. <laughs> we have technically like two Ikes in, in, in like top eight, technically. Yeah, two, two Ikes of the eight players left in a left in bracket here. That, that would be insane if like Raven King and Cyber played against Lucy and Linus and just double 
Ike, that would be insane. But um, honestly, it was a little unfortunate that Raven King did team kill Cyber. Maybe just by accident, you know, that, that you don't want to be too close to your teammate because that could happen in that situation. And then unfortunately, you're just going to be a 1v1 situation. But thankfully, Raven King was able to back him up on that and finding the up air to kill off the top of small battlefield. Yeah, and I think like if you're if you're Raven King, you kind of accept that as like a character flaw when you are picking Ike rather than Joker here, because mm. Ike has such huge hitboxes and everything Ike does kills, like jab kills at whatever percent you mean. Jab kills? <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. What percentage are we talking about? Because that is. I mean, Ike with rage, you can never be too sure. Two hundred Ike. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's kind of like. Something, something you just kind of accept as the, with the character, and I think Cyber knows that too. Like sometimes I'm, Raven King's just gonna kill me, but he's gonna kill our opponents at zero percent as well. So. Oh yeah, especially with that um, LP pressure that he uh, responded with and taking like I think uh, Ice Knight's like second stock or something from last game. That was incredible. Yeah. Speaking of uh, speaking of great edge guards, great stuff there by uh, that was Starman I think with that edge guard on Raven King right there. Just yeah, Raven went all the way down with that back air. Yeah, Raven King just accepting that, and uh, he just air dodged into the blast zone. Yeah, red, red team as well, looking like they're kind of in this corner right now, and Raven King's trying to help out Cyber and trying to recover safely, but these frogs are teaming up on Raven King. Yeah, I think they they kind of see what uh, Raven King and Cyber's plans are, where Raven King's going to be looking to get these kills early, and Cyber's going to be looking to stock tank, mm -hmm. and so they're. They're playing around that, and they're using Greninja's slipperiness to their advantage. The raw up smash coming out of uh, uh, Starman, but not going to take it just yet for maybe game. Yeah, and I like the attempt of the Hydro Pump into the up smash. Uh, oh, wow. Some a little messy in there. <laughs> My bad. Uh, but the Hydro Pump into the up smash just didn't connect because he went too high from the Hydro Pump. But oh, wow. Was that up air point out? Yeah. It's like short hop up air, and then also taking... Um, Starman's dog. And now we're seeing, like, this is the situation, kind of. It was a situation that Raven King and Cyber wanted, where they're both at high percent and Cyber up a stock, with both of them at low percent. Because that's, that's the time where, if you're Raven King, you do the upbeat. You get them off stage, and another team kill coming out from Raven King, unfortunate. Yeah, definitely. Ice Knight is not letting them breathe or even recovering, but Raven King finding a response with that jab coming out, and also. Very nice response, also coming out, backing off just a little bit though to hopefully apply more pressure on Starman and trying to go for the Uppy as well. Yeah, I like the Uppy attempt there because the back air wouldn't have connected. Uh, uh, Raven King without a jump here though. Unfortunate, man. Taking that stock though from Cyber, hopefully he can find uh, a kill here fast with some Ike up air or something strong. Ike dash attack? Not quite. No rage on that Ike. Not going to be able to get that sealed out just yet. Yeah, this, this is incredible shield pressure coming from um, Ice Knight and Starman. You definitely don't want to play against these two, but and they're just... The double up there. They're, they're trying to think of something, man. They're very strong players, and the L Smash coming out. Not going to take Raven King's stock just yet, though. These are water-type Pokemon, dude. They're synchronized swimming right now. <laughs> Literally. And there goes one of them. It's yeah. still having the other uh, stock as well, so... This is a little bit of slight disadvantage for Red Team, though, because they are getting to, uh, to those max rage percentage, and there goes Raven King. Oh, no. How do you get no, through that? No. <laughs> That's an onslaught. His Pikmin were on the stage. They left him. They had no help. They had no backup. <laughs> Where were my assist trophies? That was unfortunate for uh, Cyber and Raven King. Uh, uh, but maybe the, the PS2 was the counter pick or was the play for them because honestly, uh, Ice Knight and Starman benefited from that. And going back to small battlefield, maybe again, like they were just comfortable being on small battlefield, and that's just what they know. So, yeah, I think if you're um, if you're Raven King and Cyber, you want the fight to be close quarters, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you have two characters that are really hard to catch in Greninja. Yeah. And Greninja, and uh, and it's really if, if you're at PS2 with like a wider stage, like harder to edge guard. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it's hard if you're uh, if you're Raven King and uh, Cyber on PS2. Small battlefield though, you have that close quarters fight. You can kind of force them to eat Ike hitboxes. A fourth up air coming from uh, from uh, Ice Knight. That was a very nice chain coming out. But Raven King's trying to respond. But again, here comes uh, Starman also responding with some up airs. Cyber looks like he's in a tough spot right here. He's kind of sandwiched in between these two Greninjas, but Raven King trying to help him out and save him. Dude, all I'm hearing is Ja, Ja, Ja. <laughs> There's the raw up smash through the platform. I'm not going to take it just yet, though. And Raven King actually taking 
Ice Knight stock with that um the with charge. The quick draw. Yeah, that was very oh, nice. Is he dead? No. Starman's no. dead at zero. I don't believe it. So we have a stock uh, advantage here from Red Team and uh, Ice Knight and Starman definitely got to find something to, to take Cyber's first stock and that's not going to do it just yet because these Pikmin are especially doing an incredible amount of damage. Yeah, that's like the worst start to the game that you can imagine if you're uh, Ice Knight and um, Starman because you lose your first two stocks, but they're at high percent. You know, you can you can come back. You can get them pretty quickly. However, you lose a stock at zero percent. You can't recover from that. You can't recover from that. And now you're down a whole stock of this entire game. Yeah, definitely. Especially with Olimar being at almost max rage, 141, especially with those Pikmin is insane. And what killed Starman there? I, I think it was Ike up there. I'm not going to doubt it. Listen. I, I know Raven King is definitely in the zone right now. He is feeling himself and just trying to get this game over with. Yeah, it's especially easy to get in the zone and feel yourself when you have your teammate that you trust to take these stocks to 155%. Cyber might have died there, but he did his job. He now has the stock advantage for his team. Yeah, and they still have that one stock lead. It might uh, be in their favor unless they can find a way to respond. Ice Knight and uh, Starman looking a, a little... A little, a little too confused right now, but again, they can just try to find something. What yeah. was that? Down to? What? I have, uh, honestly, <laughs> I don't even know. Anything from Ike kills. It could have been any, literally any move in the game. This character is very strong in doubles. I cannot believe what, I, what I'm seeing now. The growth from Raven King from last game and it just being able to apply an insane amount of pressure and props to Cyber again for being able to anchor and like really just like adjust with Raven King into the up smash. Wow. That was, that, that was insane. Yeah, we're seeing like what happens when two specialized characters meet two kind of all around characters. Because Ike is the character that's going to be finding these kills while Cyber, or well, Olimar rather, mm. is going to be the character that's going to be stock tanking. Yeah. But Ninja is like an all around character. It can do oh, the yeah. kills, it can do the stock tanking, yeah. but it doesn't do anything like exceptionally well that yeah. Olimar and Ike do. Right. That's fair, that's fair. I think this is a game five as well now, so this oh. could be a, again a match point or wait, is this? That's the game four. Oh, wait, game four. Sorry. Raven King and Cyber have the lead. My bad, my bad. <laughs> but this is a best of five, mm -hmm. so that's gonna be great. Um, and this can favor into uh, Starman and Ice Knight's favor. Going back to PS2, so again maybe they just have their favoritism stages and whatnot. And maybe this is just where they feel comfortable. Yeah, I think. Wow. Uh, was that triple back here coming out? I was not. I. I was, I was kind of focused on what Raven King was doing. I didn't see what was going on over there in Cyber's world, but there goes Starman. What happened there? I have no idea. There is so much going on on this in this ledge. Right side of PS2 apparently cursed for the, for these two. All right, now we now we can settle down a little bit. So we saw the triple back air there coming out from I believe Starman, mm. but then he was able to wow, great counter there from Ice Knight. Incredible read on the Raven King recovery, and now. Like, we have everybody at two stocks. Ice Knight still holding on to his, uh, his third. Yeah, Blue Team has a stock lead here uh, from Ice Knight holding that. But uh, Star um, Cyber can be in a tough situation, almost getting to, like, 116. It's definitely scary, but what even was that? Short hop, like, fair or something. And Raven King responded as well. The stocks are flying quickly in this match. That's all I'm going to be able to, to say. I'm not going to be able to figure out what kills everybody. I... I I can't keep focused, man, but the DI from Raven King was definitely um, a good play to come from, but Upsmash is going to go through the platform again. Super strong, and another one. I love the attempt on the forward air there, too, because it would be switching up Cyber's DI. He'd have to DI the Upsmash in, but then he has to DI the or DI the Upsmash out, but then he'd have to DI the forward air in. And so if you switch up that DI, maybe you get an early stock, but uh, nothing doing quite there. Ice Knight still hanging on to his first stock here, while Cyber and Raven King... Uh, looking like we're going to a game five here, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, definitely. It seems like uh, Ice Knight and Starman have definitely figured them out from the past game. And again, this is a very tough spot to be in. And Cyber is on his last stock, especially with Raven King. This is definitely something you do not want to be in in this spot. Yeah, forward air they're going to be taking it. And now you see one edge guard here on the Ike, but nothing quite doing just yet. I love the down tilt. Uh, that air dodge option was... It worked, but then uh, he caught his landing, so unfortunate. Ice Knight, though, holding on to three stocks. That was incredible. And I, I believe he was, like, under 100% too as well. Yeah. Something like that. He was, like, at 95 or something. Mm -hmm. That was insane coming from Ice Knight. And, again, like, I'm, I'm really happy to see that, like, 
Ditto players can just like still like revolve around each other, but still also have their moments where they can separate and also know what to look for. Well, I think that was a playstyle difference that came out that game, because Starman is going to be the one that's going to be forcing a lot of offstage interactions. Uh -huh. Like the Olimar back air, for example, we saw that first knock, or the back air on Olimar. Well, Ice Knight's going to be the one that's kind of trying to out neutral you and hold the stage advantage. And now we see game five coming out here. Something's going on. Uh, button check? <laughs> Wrong stage? Wrong music choice? Cyber's just standing there. Holobar's just like, everything is happening around me. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I think I saw Cyber like throw like one of his Pikmin at the Greninja. Yeah. I think it was maybe like the song choice. I'm not really too sure what was going on there. Someone, someone's controller maybe disconnected. I'm not, I don't even know. Maybe there's, okay, we are going back to Small Battlefield. So if Raven King and Cyber love this stage, so, uh, and Ice Knight and um, Ice Knight and Starman are going to be loving the PS2. They got, they got the wider yeah. stage to work with. So I thought maybe we're going to see a stage choice uh, switch up, but not going to be here. Yeah, I, think it is a, I think it is a music choice like you mentioned. I think this is, um. Oh. Ne okay, never mind. I don't know what it is. Did they forget to change the song again? What is? I think. What is happening? They were told to kill time. I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. Where? How do we commentate this? <laughs> I was not told I was gonna be commentating. <laughs> Just the people SD. Yeah. Uh, there, there goes Cyber. There goes, there goes everyone. I guess. Well, they, they. Here's the thing. They saw how fast the stocks were flying that last game. <laughs> they want to see if they can do it faster. They're, they're gonna set the world record of how many stocks yeah. can fly. <laughs> Maybe a color switch? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, I think maybe they had a problem with uh, Starman being on the red Greninja ult, um, okay. being on the blue team, which, I mean, that's fair. Um, that is fair, yeah. Don't know why it took them two tries to get off the red ult, but... <laughs> right, it's a small battlefield, though, so... This is this is maybe on the up ante for um, Ruby King and Cyber because they did favor this stage. But unless Starman and Ice Knight can bring this back at game five in their situation. Well, both games that Raven King and Cyber won on this stage, Raven King did take a stock at 0%. Oh, yeah. So if Starman and Ice Knight are able to avoid that, yeah. I think like the stage is a lot more even than uh, maybe Raven King and Cyber won to admit. Wow, that almost killed off the top. That upper was very strong coming from Ice Knight. Yeah, Greninja up air is a crazy move. It juggles so well. It kills at... You know, probably around this percent. Like, there's so much Greninja up air can do, and it kind of frame traps too, because it, it's out for so long that you're able to chase so well with it. Yeah, Cyber's trying to find his way in with these Pikmin, or trying to get something to save Raven King from uh, recovering. This is a dangerous spot, though, if you're uh, if you're Ice Knight and Starman, because this is Raven King at 132. You know he's not afraid to toss those stocks away. Well, yeah. And he lived that too. He's at 144. Ice Knight at zero. You are terrified if you're Ice Knight. You Raven King is the pass max rage by only 2%. And this is definitely a scary situation. And he's going to get up aired into the blast zone. Yeah, I love that from Ice Knight too, because it showed he wasn't afraid of Raven King. Sometimes it's easy to, like, if you lose a stock at 0%. The oh. Starman, what happened? I think his jump got taken there. But, uh,. If you're at 0% and your opponent's at 150 and you know they're a character like Ike or Krom who have that like upbeat drag down kill, mm -hmm. sometimes you're going to be afraid of it, not wanting to engage, but uh, Ice Knight was able to like get up there, engage, and take that Raven King stock before it could like really strike the fear in him. Yeah, it definitely shows again like the trust that they have in these characters and just how well they know that with experience. It definitely seems like blue team here has um, stage control, uh, but Cyber is trying to find his way in again with these Pikmin, or trying to help out Raven King as well. Yeah, great up smash there from Starman. Up air chase from Ice Knight, not quite there, but that is, that's a Cyber stock that got lost there. Raven King with another team kill. That one might come back to bite him. Yeah, that definitely might, but uh, the percentages are looking a little hefty, so maybe if they can take Starman's stock here, this could be a fair advantage for them. Yeah, uh, I think Starman and Ice Knight have really shown how well they can work around the Rage Ike, and it's it's working a lot better this game than in the previous two uh, small battlefield games. Yeah, they're definitely making it not um, not something to to look past because they're definitely working around it. 
It's a non-factor this game, whereas in the previous two, it was the deciding factor. Yeah, definitely. It just shows again like how well players can adapt and just like not let things phase them at all. Yeah, Ice Knight holding onto this stock, uh, 105. Uh, not an insane percent to be living at, but I mean, when you're Ike, you take nothing for granted. When you're against Ike, rather, you take nothing for granted. Oh, yeah. Cyber's looking in a tough spot right now. Was that rough? That, was that a raw down smash from uh, uh, Starman, I believe? I think so, and uh, because of that, Cyber lost all his Pikmin, and now we have all in our with no Pikmin trying to get back to stage. Like, how's... Wow, the I... parry F smash! Yeah, that was incredible coming from uh, Starman, I believe. And now we got the, the double frogs on a uh, ledge here, trying to keep Raven King out. This is a very tough situation, but he just he just forward tilts or down tilts one of them? Yeah, that was like forward tilt coming out there, taking that Ice Knight stock. But again, like we mentioned, Ice Knight with a fresh one in the back. And now that's going to be it. Jab lock down. not going to do it just yet, though. The DI from Raven King, but the upside is going to catch him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was guaranteed. I mean, Ike was like at what, 160, 150? Something like that. It was a really high percentage. And it, even if, like, he saw Ice Knight charging the F-Smash 